Hello friends! Those of you that watch our channel know that I've been working with Stormy and the last video I finally got a halter on her. I tied her up for a couple hours actually while I went to Casey's volleyball game. I came home last night, I, I was able to pet all over her and then I let her go with the rope on on her and I know some people will be critical saying you shouldn't do that and honestly I wish I didn't have to but it's the best option at this point. So I'm gonna go out and I'm gonna catch Stormy and we're gonna hope that I could walk up the rope and pet on her. Come along. I pet on her for about 15 minutes last night before I untied her and she let me walk right up the rope. This is just to desensitize. Doesn't look like the same horse we had been working with, does it? doesn't really lead yet but she'll get there I need to put some fly spray on the so Vicky is videoing and just putting enough pressure just walking behind her to keep her leading this is awesome She's doing so good. Look at that, she's coming along so good. Just walk, walk behind her just a little bit. Good girl. So follow your heart to another day. I can just hold her. Yeah. I'll let go if something happens. Mm. Took a step without me behind her. I'll be right back. If it's going to be a wreck, just let go. I'm not planning on it being a wreck. <laughs> hey, girl. Excited. Our friend Moses from High Desert Homestead reached out because he saw our last video and he said, Alan, I love working with gated horses like Tennessee Walkers. He, he said they're considered warm blood. Those of you that think we know a lot about horses, I'm no trainer. I just learn as I go. But Moses said he'll come and give us some pointers. For, oh, that's awesome. Yeah, so I'm excited. But 
but I do know how to get flies off of a horse, so <laughs> it's gonna be awesome for Stormy to finally get some relief from these flies. Spray my hand. She wouldn't even let you touch her a few days ago. I know, it's so cool. Wish you guys could smell the fly spray through the video because there is a distinct smell for the fly spray we it's put like, on. It's a vanilla, didn't it? I don't know. It's. I think I could smell it anywhere and know what it is. It's okay, girl. You can see the flies on her face are already gone. She doesn't like she doesn't like the spray bottle. Come on. Come on. Good girl. She'll take a step at a time. Good. Look at the difference. We are super excited. Laura just sent, Laura's the owner of Stormy, and she just sent like a a blanket, a horse blanket to put on in the cold weather. It's definitely not too cold yet. But when it, when she said she was sending it, I thought, well, how in heck will we ever even get it on? But as quickly as she's making progress, Laura, I hope we can put it on in a week or two. We'll see. But again, it's not very cold yet, so. No, it feels good out here right now. Vicky's presence back there, it puts enough pressure. She did do good. You know what? You're pretty handsome. You're pretty cute yourself. You know what? You're kind, but I've got to stop videoing so I can get to Casey's volleyball game. Well, guys, how do you think we did today? How did Stormy do? I think this is a good day. Let's take you to the volleyball game. Sounds good. Well, guys, my dad showed you earlier how Stormy is doing. Um, she is doing a lot better. We have gotten a halter on her and we're actually able to walk up the rope and rub on her head and neck and stuff. Anyways, today I'm going to go ahead and try to move on um, to the next step and really start desensitizing her a little bit more with maybe a bag, brush her off, reach, brush up and down her legs. Um, just do a few more things to work on desensitizing her. Um, also, my dad mentioned that she does not like fly spray. So is what I'm going to do is I am going to take one of our fly spray containers and pour it into the other, and then we'll fill the empty one up with just water. And I'm gonna pull her out and I'm just gonna spray her with some water. Um, there will be a little bit of fly spray in it, which will be good for her anyways. But we're just going to spray her so she gets used to having stuff sprayed all over her. And we'll go until she um, does not mind the fill of the water being sprayed all over her. Follow along as we go get her caught and work with her today. Alright, so we got our empty fly bottle. We're here by the hose. We're going to go ahead and fill this up. I also have a handful of treats that we'll give Stormy as we're working with her. Casey, do you mind holding up for me? Um, 
So anyways, we're going to go ahead and fill this up. She's out here in this pasture behind us. Um, we'll go get her caught and start working with her. Nice to have a long rope on these uh, horses while you're working with them. Because it makes them a lot easier to catch when you're out here in the open. So Stormy here, she's a Tennessee walker. She is a rescue horse. And we get to work with her for a month. Um, I really am excited to keep working with her. She's doing amazing. This is why I filled it with just water. It's because I know we're gonna waste a lot just over here working with her. Um, and I didn't want to be wasting the actual fly spray. Well, Stormy's doing good today. Um, I'm gonna have to call it quits early because I have a football game tonight. It's my last football game of regular season and we're playing our rivals. So I'm gonna go ahead and put Stormy up and head on up and get ready for the game. Thank you guys for watching as we worked with her today and I hope you guys are all having a wonderful day. Hey, hey, here we go, here we go. Oh, yes! Yes! Yes, sir! Back to pass. 
Pass play chase down by Brock. Yes! yes!